All right, limited time series number three. It is for Camaro GT4R. So, as always, you get to win the car by completing the limited time series, 15 tiers, 45 gold trophies, right? And the 75 gold that we are getting is as always gonna go into well essentially it's gonna be something to help us upgrade the car to meet the PR requirement which according to their site uh, it is 63.8 for the Camaro GT4 R so yeah let's jump in uh, find out what other details we can find out about the series of course it is 12th of July for me here in US Friday so depending on where you are in the world you um, it might be 13th already for you guys Saturday so since fire monkeys they're located over in Australia they're day ahead for me uh, so their published date runs from Saturday 13th of July through Saturday 20th of July so for me that is the 19th of July so okay what do we have here's the usual breakdown of the uh, completion reward broken down into 25% increment identical as the first two so I'm anticipating the cost of the upgrade is gonna be more or less same because the car cost the same and the gold reward that we get for completing the series is the same as well so let's see if this thing's also going to cost 286 gold to upgrade and some two million three thousand three hundred racing dollars basically getting three tiers of upgrades on this guy right so um yeah we'll use gold to complete it right away and we'll confirm if the numbers that we see on their website is actually accurate or even if it's not that uh, the amount of cost is gonna be more or less the same so all right so the final tier tier 15 the cup race is at Catalunya Grand Prix, three laps. And let's see, let's check out 63.8. So, yep, that is correct number. And the uh, base PR is 48.7. So it does have slightly higher base PR than the rest, the, the other four GT4 cars. And aside from the top speed, this car has the top spec. So we'll see if how it actually handles on the on the track because you know spec is spec. But um, if it doesn't drive well, if it doesn't feel right, you know what I mean. Uh, spec means nothing. So all right, so. We got 106,300 racing dollars for the 12 hour first tier engine upgrade, which is same as the other two cars that we've had. So right from the get go, this looks like it's going to be same amount, 98,900 for drivetrain. All right, so body 78,500. So, so far looking about as identical as they go. Suspension 90,600. So, yeah, I guess there really is no reason for these cars to have a different upgrade cost. And uh, exhaust 89,600. Yep. So, moving on to brakes 69,300. Okay, so. And finally, tires and wheels, first tier, 83,200. So that is identical. And now the moment of truth, first tier upgrades. How far does it get us? We're starting at 48.7 as the base BR. 
and it gets up to 53.7 so that is exactly five PR points that we're getting with the first tier uh, first tier of upgrades so um, that's the limit of lim uh, racing dollar upgrades alone and that is of course important because the tier 4 you know the 25% completion reward is 8 gold and the uh, last two cars they well not just last two cars all these new cars and recent memories they always place that 25% completion PR just behind the racing dollar upgrades so I don't expect this would be any different let's try what we get with the second tier upgrades which I'm anticipating is gonna be all gold so all right 50 gold just like the other two GT4 cars for engine and then drivetrain is 46 gold just like what we've seen before and body is gonna be 36 right yep confirmed and then suspension is gonna be 42 yep so yeah so far I don't see how it's gonna deviate exhaust same as suspension 42 gold and then brakes 32 again and then finally tires and wheels 38 gold so yep the total cost is exact well yeah, the important upgrades right or important cost the gold cost is 286 for this car as well assuming that this is uh, gonna be the same and the second tier upgrades bring our PR up to 58.8 uh, so that is uh, 5.1 PR boost PR point boost isn't it so all right and then I'm assuming the final third tier upgrade will get us the remaining five PR point to get us up to the required number of 63.8 so let's confirm and uh, if it's gonna be the, the trend is the third tier Racing dollar upgrade is going to be uh, one day R&D time, the wait time, and the four engine is going to be 239,100. Yep, so yeah, the cost at this point we can pretty much confirm that I think all GT4 cars are going to have the same exact cost. I don't see why it wouldn't be, right? 176,700 for body, so that's the same. Suspension, 203,900, so that same exhaust, uh, 201,700. Brakes, 155,900. And finally, tires and wheels, 187,100. And here is the moment of truth. Is that gonna give us those third tier upgrades are they gonna give us five point PR boost let's find out keep going 63.8 right on the money so that's what you need three tier upgrades across the board for the cost of 286 gold of course 75 of which you do get back so now let's uh, run through the series just real quick and see if we can anticipate any uh, troublesome tiers for let's see the last one Porsche I was pretty accurate I had to service the car once for that one speed snap I want to say at Dubai I think right, so that one required me to service the car but other than that if you have enough upgrades to complete the series you only need to service it once if you um, don't win by terribly large margin of course so yes don't win by huge margin unless you enjoy struggling um, 
for me. Uh, not for limited time series. I want to win the car with the least amount of trouble. And once I have the car in the garage, then I will uh, challenge myself <laughs> when I don't have time pressure, you know? All right, so tier one. Well, I mean, it's tier one, so we don't have to worry about uh, any trouble. I certainly hope not. We got elimination of, at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit, speed record at Daytona Motorcycle Course, and we actually have a Bugatti circuit. We didn't have a Bugatti circuit race in the last limited time series, did we? All right, so single lapper as you would expect. Pretty short one. Tier two, endurance at Catalunya Grand Prix, autocross at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. Nürburgring has like all the autocross there are pretty long sort of like Daytona so ah uh, yes and then the cup to wrap up tier 2 is gonna be at Dubai Grand Prix circuit single lap with the PR requirement of 51.5 so as always you're gonna need a few upgrades on board to get past the tier 2 um, can't get past the tier 2 without any upgrades so you'll and I have to watch a few ads if you don't want to wait 12 hours. Anyway, moving on to tier 3. All these early tiers. I mean, tier 3 is typically when you start seeing, uh, you'll notice that your car is going into critical condition. Possibly it already might be. And if not, it'll definitely get in there with the full lap hunter at Mount Panorama. That's a long circuit, at least in Real Racing 3. Speed snap at Suzuka East. And finally, the cup is at Manza Road Course. I'm expecting a single lapper. Yep. With the PR requirement of 52.9. All right. So, if your car is just on the verge of going into red at this point, I would start this tier with speed snap, get that done first, and then the other two, you know, uh, it shouldn't really matter. Uh, the level of difficulty on Hunter or Cup with the, whether your car is in critical condition or not, certainly at this early in the series. All right, moving on, tier four, we got a head to head at Spa, should be a single lapper. And uh, we got drag race at the uh, Brickyard Road Course. It's tier 4. So once again, if you've got sufficient upgrades, I don't expect the first drag race early in the series is going to give us any trouble. Uh, Hockenheim National is where the cup is at. Two laps. Two laps of National Circuit is not too bad. Now the PR requirement is 54. So that is just behind what you can do with racing dollars alone. Remember, racing dollars get your PR up to 53.7. So your 0.3 PR point shy of being able to collect the precious eight gold without getting any, you know, with the racing dollars alone. So. Once again, if you're in it, you're in it to win it. All right, so, so far, pretty routine. I don't see any race that's going to cause uh, any ruckus. So moving on, tier five, we got speed record at Melbourne. Okay, and autocross at Brands Hatch. And the cup is going to be at National Circuit of Circuit of the Americas. Two laps. All right, so two lap national circuit races aren't too bad. PR requirement now up to 55 even. All right, so obviously by now you should have the second tier gold upgrades, at least some of them in, but most likely you will have all of them on board and 
got uh, already got started on that third tier racing dollar upgrade because they're gonna take full day so and just like the last uh, all the other limited time series that we've been running uh, the second tier upgrades will get you all the all the way up to tier 10 and that's where you would need those third tier racing dollar upgrades done so moving on tier 6 we got elimination at Red Bull Ring National Circuit all right I don't expect that to be a trouble and we got a hunter at Mazda Raceway and the cup is at Suzuka East at three laps oh four laps all right but Suzuka East pretty short so PR requirement of 55.9 so not quite a full one point boost there from last tier tier 5 anyway let's move on tier 7 we got endurance at Monza Junior speed snap at Silverstone National hmm would that be tricky once again we're still in the first half of the series so if you have sufficient upgrades this shouldn't give you trouble I don't think and then we got a cup at Leipzig Porsche test track long road circuit probably two laps yep and the PR requirement now 56.8 so still good with those second tier gold upgrades right and of course tier 8 is where you get to collect 50% completion reward all right I think it was 15 gold right we got autocross at Mount Panorama hunter at Hockenheim short and the cup is gonna be at spa most likely two laps oh it's a single lapper that's a I would say that's a surprising um, typically from like tier 8 the lap counts start to go up I don't mind shorter race PR requirement is 57.7 .7. so moving on to second half of the series tier 9 we got head-to-head -head as Suzuka West single lapper endurance at Dubai Club circuit and that's a fun circuit uh, and then the cup is at Catalonia National three laps oh no two laps so the lap counts got like almost like a reset <laughs> these are short races all right PR requirement is 58.5 so yeah none of these are gonna require you to i mean they should be manageable in critical condition although tier 10 the drag race now this late in the series drag race even if you have all the upgrades on board can be a little uh, tricky so we'll see how this turns out and then we got elimination at manza road course um yeah i don't think i think we wouldn't we would be able to reach the first chicane at monza road course before 20 second timer runs out so we shouldn't be lim eliminated right away even if you're running in critical condition and the cup is going to be a silverstone national and now this one's a triple lapper and let's see what the PR requirement is because this is where it's going to be beyond the reach of gold second tier gold upgrades so this is where you're going to need at least a few of those third tier racing dollars done and the PR requirement is 59.3 so let's see second tier with the second tier upgrades your PR was up at uh, 58.8 so yep this is where uh, you need those third tier upgrades basically moving on tier 11 we got a speed snap at Bugatti circuit which I don't think would be too bad and speed record at 
the Brickyard Road Circuit is not a uh, road course isn't too bad either. Um, I'm talking even if your car is in critical condition, I think those would be doable. And then uh, tier 11, we got the Cup at Nurburgring Sprint Circuit, two laps. So that's a pretty quick one. And the PR requirement is 60.2. All right, moving on to tier 12. Endurance at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. Head to head at Brands Hatch Indy Circuit single lap. So that's pretty quick. And the cup is at Daytona Road Course. Two laps with the PR requirement of 61 even. And of course, tier 12, you need a single gold trophy to claim that 75% completion reward, which is what, 22 gold, right? And moving on to tier 13, we got a Hunter at Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Speed Snap at Spa. Think if you play your cards right. If you don't buy that, I mean, you know, win by smallest margin that you can achieve. Uh, spa Speed Snap should be doable, even when your car is in critical condition. Get some help from um, gravity. And then the cup is going to be at Mazda Raceway, three laps, and the PR requirement is up to 61.9. So getting towards the end here, tier 14, we got elimination at Berlin Circuit, and autocross at Melbourne, and uh, we got a long 24-hour circuit cup. Ooh, this is a two laps. All right, so they've been, I guess, kind of preserving the long format races till the end and we're gonna get two laps of 24-hour circuit cup race with this car and the PR requirement is 62.8 so I suppose that would have a good fame bonus if you don't have any um, you know 24-hour circuit cup races with multiple laps this should pay out pretty reasonably well considering it's a limited time series so all right but uh you certainly don't need to you know service your car for to win that and then finally tier 15 endurance at grand prix circuit of nurburgring head to head at mount panorama uh, lap of course and as we checked earlier cup is at Catalunya Grand Prix three laps with the PR requirement of 63.8 all right so um, potential uh, service spot I'm thinking is gonna be I'm potentially tier 13 but I doubt it because um, of course it's gonna be because of the speed snap but if you you know train your bots I think that shouldn't give you too much trouble instead I would say um, tier 10 drag race is what I'm anticipating uh, might give us some trouble if you decide to run unserviced the whole way so that might re the tier 10 might require you to service the car at least once and then if you have completed elimination and cup prior to servicing your car then you should be able to run the next tier speed snap and speed record which could potentially require you to service the car what after it's already been serviced from for the drag race so uh, and then the rest of the series, I don't really anticipate we're going to run into any, well, pit stop, let's say, to get the car serviced, right? So there you have it. So there's the series rundown. Um, so, oh yeah, and then of course there's a Formula E, yet another Formula E time trial competition. This one, of course, is taking place in New York Circuit. And right now there is instant service for the car, instant free service for two days. So 
If you haven't done it, that's a great way, great quick and easy way to collect 10 gold by completing that uh, Formula E exhibition series. Since you know you got a free service on top of uh, not needing to put any um, upgrades on the car, so that is cool. Or you know if you've already done that, then you can use that to make some progress in uh, 2018 season of Formula E. Uh, season five is what they call it, right? Yeah. So, all right. So that does it for this video. Uh, so next video we'll uh, make our way through the this limited time series uh, the, the proper way <laughs> not using gold to get it done right away so we'll stay uh yeah stay tuned for the tier one of Camaro GT4R championship so until then take care and we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>